Hello, everyone. My name is、uh, Liu Wenhan, and I come from Gaolin School of Artificial Intelligence, Renmin University of China. Today, I will introduce our work: mining exploratory queries for conversational search. I will introduce our work from the following aspects. So,、uh, let's start with some background on our work. Uh, we know that in conversational search, user queries tend to be fasted. For example,、uh, a user query "Cartier women watches" may contain several facets, such as、uh, "Cartier women watches price" and "Cartier women watches style." This phenomenon hinders the search engine from understanding users' potential search intent. So,、uh, search clarification has been proposed、uh, as a technique to solve this problem. It clarifies users' search intent. Intent and pro,、uh, by asking a clarifying question and providing several clickable options to the user. However, in addition to such、uh, clarification needs, user may also have some exploratory needs in some cases.、Uh, for example, a user who searches for Cartier women watches、uh, may also want to issue other queries such as Cartier women. Uh, sorry, Rolex women watches and Breitling women watches to compare different brands before making a purchase, and the user may also want to is、uh, may also be interested in other accessories such as Cartier women bracelets and Cartier women necklaces.、Uh, we call these queries as exploratory queries in in this paper, and we believe that in addition to、uh, such clarification. Options. These exploratory queries are also important in conversational search. So, uh, co uh, so why they are important? First, uh, these user the users, uh, exploratory search behaviors are common in real world search engines, and uh, which had been uh revealed by previous studies. And second, uh, recommending recommending these exploratory queries could. Uh, inspire new search intents to the user, which improves user search experience. Uh, how, uh, despite the importance of exploratory queries,、uh, it is less emphasized in previous studies. So, in this paper, we make the first step to mine exploratory queries. We first define the exploratory query as the parallel reformulation of the user query. It means that replacing a term in the user query with another parallel term. For example,、uh, the, expo the exploratory query "Rolex women watches" is, obta is obtained by replacing a term "Cartier" in user query "Cartier women watches" with parallel term "Rolex." Here, a term may be a word or phrase. Besides, we also define that、uh, a user query may correspond to multi-group exploratory queries because the user query may contain multiple keywords. So, replacing different keywords、uh, corresponds to、uh, different groups. So, based on our definition in this paper, our aim is to generate multi-group、uh, exploratory queries for、uh, for a given user query. Okay. So the key to generate exploratory queries is to mine the parallel terms of the user query term, and we find these、uh, parallel terms are usually organized in list styles in queries retrieval documents, because、uh, list styles naturally show parallel information. For example, in the retrieval documents of the user query Cartier women watches,、um, the term watches is, is often listed with other. Accessories such as、um, bracelets and rings, and so on, using HTML list tags. So, in this paper, we propose using list structures in queries retrieval documents to generate corresponding exploratory queries.、Uh, here is the framework our our, our methods.、Uh, we propose the three different methods to、uh, generate exploratory queries. The first one is a rule based. A、uh, method, and the second one is a newer generation model, and the third one is a large language model based method. Next, I will introduce them one by one. Okay, the first method is a rule based parallel reformulation model, named RPR.、Uh, given a user query, this、uh, this method、uh, uses the list items extracted from the queries retrieved documents to reformulate the user query so as to Uh, obtain the corresponding exploratory queries. It consists of four steps. 
Uh, the first step is top documents retrieval. In this step, we use uh, Bing Search API to obtain all uh, to retrieve the top end documents of the user queries. And in this, and the second step is list and text extractor. In this step, we uh, crawl the HTML of each uh, retrieved document and extract all the lists and text from it. And then we do the parallel reformulation and ranking. Uh, in this step, we specifically we replace each term in the user query uh, with all the extracted list items so as to obtain all possible exploratory queries. And then we design various features to run all, all these candidates, all these exploratory queries. And in the final step, we do the candidates grouping. Uh, specifically, we divide uh, all these uh, candidates into different groups based on their uh, replaced terms, such as Cartier or women or watches. And we keep at most five candidates in each group. Uh, we can see that our rule-based method uh, highly relies on queries retrieved documents, uh, which may suffer from a data sparsity problem in some cases. For example, the retrieved documents may contain a few useful uh, list structures. So to mitigate this issue, we further propose to train an uh, exploratory generation model named EQG in this paper. And uh, the aim is to generate a group of exploratory query at a time. Uh, and it, in fact, it can be treated as a mask and fail problem because when generating a group such as uh, Cartier women something, uh, we can replace the term watches with a mask token and then fill in the mask token with uh, several parallel terms. So our, ne our newer generation model takes the masked query, the replace the term and several and the list items extracted by our rule based our rule based method as inputs. Uh, here's the list items here are used to prompt uh, the model with the potential parallel terms. And the generation target is the concatenation of all the uh, exploratory queries in the group based on which we calculate uh, the generation loss. And we also define an additional clarification uh, loss to further enhance the generation task. Uh, besides the two methods we mentioned, we also explored the effectiveness of large language models in generating uh, exploratory queries. And, and the prompt includes task description, demonstrations, and the masked query, masked term, and uh, the list items uh, extracted by our rule-based method. And we test and prompt on some samples and optimize the prompt iteratively. Here are the main results of our uh, paper, oh, sorry. Uh, as we mentioned about, uh, we are the first to propose generating exploratory queries. So we do not find any available data sets for, uh, to evaluate our models. So to build the evaluation data, we first uh, randomly sample 100 real user queries from Mimix data set, uh, search clarification data set, and we use the pool based annotation to get the ground truth. Specifically, for each query, we first aggregate uh, the human written exploratory queries uh, and the model generated ones into a candidate pool. Then uh, we hired three annotators to assess the quality of each candidate in the pool based on our predefined guidelines. And finally, we choose the high quality ones as the final ground truth. Here are the main results of our paper. Uh, we can see that our rule based method RPR outperforms. Uh, several baselines and our uh, newer generation model further uh, generalize our rule-based method. Besides, we can also see that uh, uh, our large language model, large language model-based method LMG uh, also shows superior performance based on our well-designed prompt. And we also conduct a series of ablation studies to further prove the effectiveness of our uh, methods. Finally, we will make a conclusion for our work. First, we propose generating exploratory queries in conversational search, and then we design different methods to uh, prove, the, prove our idea. And finally, we construct our 
evaluation data through human annotation and the experimental results uh, demonstrate the effectiveness, effectiveness of our methods. Thank you.